Hello, and welcome to a new heatable video. Today, we're gonna to be covering one of the most common causes of boiler failure in the UK, but it's also the cheapest to fix. It only costs you a few minutes of your time and it could save you a lot of money in the long run. Now it's important that your boiler maintains the standard pressure levels of around 1.5 bar when the heating is on and around 1.2 bar when it's off. It's imperative for efficient performance and reducing general wear and tear. High pressure can place strain on the boiler's components and could lead to leaks. So the first step is diagnosing the issue. How can you tell if your boiler is too high? Well, luckily there's a big fat gauge on most boilers that are designed to tell you just that. This isn't one of them. The gauge should show a section of green. This is your safe zone between 1.2 and 1.5 bar. This is when it's on. However, anything higher than a three and you're in the red zone, you get a bit too, bit too high pressure for my liking. Okay, so diagnosing high pressure. The most common reason for high pressure is that there's too much water in the system. However, if you've recently topped your boiler up, you might have mistakenly left your filling loop slightly open. This might be what's causing the rising pressure. All you need to do is go to your filling loop and make sure both taps or the one tap if you've got one are closed securely at their original 45 degree angle. Now, if it's not the filling loop, it might be that you need to bleed your radiators. Here's Ben to talk you through it now. So if your boiler pressure is too high, then you don't need to panic. There's a quick way to get the pressure out of that system, because what we're gonna do is bleed the radiators. But you don't need a plumber to do this. It's super easy. It takes a couple of minutes to run around the house and do it. And all you need is one of these, a radiator key. So this is like a little socket that is the same size on pretty much 99% of all radiators. And you simply turn it in, turn it open, and that's what's going to let the water out. You're also going to need a little container or glass to collect this water in. You probably don't want to use one that you drink from because it might get a bit dirty. And you might want to put a towel down in case you spill some of the water. The final thing just to consider is probably don't do this when the boiler is on or hot because you might get hot water and you could burn your hands. Apart from that, this process is super simple. So on the side of your radiator, you might have a little vent that you can angle to point the water into when you drain it. If you don't, you just need to be careful and collect it with a towel. Simply put your container underneath the radiator valve, put your key in, like that. Turn it, as soon as that water starts coming out, turn it off and you've bled your radiator. Now something just to bear in mind is when you tighten up the bleed valve, what you don't need to do is swing off it all you need to do is nip it and give it a little pinch because next time you come to bleed the radiator, if you've over tightened it, you might snap it when you get it out. Now, if you have two people with you, the best way to do this is to have someone monitoring the gauge while you bleed the radiator. As you release the pressure, your helper should inform you when the pressure reaches the acceptable one-ish bar and your job is done. However, if you only have yourself, I'd recommend you bleed the radiators a small portion at a time. Each time you check the gauge to monitor the pressure. Again, once it hits one bar or around there, stop and your job is done. And with that, I give you my congratulations. With any luck, you've fixed your boiler and you're well on your way to a hot shower or whatever people do with fixed boilers. Before we sign off, there's some key takeaways here. When your boiler is on and it's heating, the pressure should be around 1.5 bar. When it's off, around one to 1.2 bar. If you need to top up the pressure, add water via the filling loop. And finally, if you suspect a leak, consult the assistance of a registered gas safe engineer please. We are not liable for anything that you do to yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if it helped you out. Comment if you need more help below and subscribe to the channel for more boiler and solar related content.